Hello everyone, welcome back to On The Fly. Today we're going to be recapping Game 1 of the NHL Stanley Cup Finals between the Edmonton Oilers and the Florida Panthers. We'll hop right into it today, starting with, of course, the score from today's game. A 3 to nothing victory for the Florida Panthers over the Edmonton Oilers, taking Game 1 of the Stanley Cup Final. And this was a game highlighted by a couple key points. The first one was, of course, Bobrovsky. An outstanding performance, racking up yet another shutout in this postseason run for Bobrovsky. And he's just been you know sort of that staple for all things Florida Panthers hockey when we look at it Bobrovsky yet yet time and time again just proves that he is one of the best goaltenders in the world and has shown it here once again and it, taking game one really single-handedly so when we look at what happened in this game it wasn't necessarily anything to say you know Edmonton looked terrible I wouldn't say that at all I Honestly, I'd argue the opposite of Edmonton looked really, really good in this one. Just couldn't quite figure out how to get the puck past Brodsky. And sure enough, Florida takes the game one and that's all they really need to do. You know, take game one, build the momentum up, take game two. And once again, we're going to sort of building back what we've seen throughout this playoff run from the Florida Panthers is, you know, once they get going and they're like that snowball coming down the hill we talked about in the preview, if they can win game one, it's all downhill from there. So definitely stay tuned to see if Florida can take game two. Cause I think if, you know, Edmonton goes down two games early, it's going to be real tough to claw back in this series. I get that you're back at home, but at the end of the day, Florida plays just as well at home as they do on the road. So it'll be curious to see what goes on there. What happens if Florida can even squeeze the game out in Edmonton, take three games to one, coming back for game five. It's going to be a tough series to look at, especially if you're if you're the Florida Panthers. The Oilers have to win in this next one. In my opinion, this is about as must win as you're going to get without it being a must win. So with that being said, first topic and first sort of keynote from this game was Bobrovsky. The second one was down, not out. And this is one that's always we sort of see with the Florida Panthers is they might not play the best hockey they've ever played. They might not look that great, but... At the same time, you cannot count out a team like the Florida Panthers. You look at some of the goals that were scored today. First one, you know, for Hagee, early, early off in the game, just sort of, you know, you expected that. He, Florida came out of the gates fairly hot. Edmonton responded right away soon thereafter. But for the Florida Panthers, they look good. Second goal was highlighted by a little bit of offensive pressure, giveaway in the defensive end by CC. And sure enough, it's in the back of your net. So when we look at it for the Florida Panthers, continue what they're doing. Down, not out is, a, is sort of that key mentality that they have. They might not be playing a great hockey game, but they're going to really make it count where it matters. So with that being said, down, not out is the second one of today. And the third one is the momentum piece. We talked about it a little bit earlier, but the trick for the Florida Panthers is just building momentum. They, they can put one in early like they did tonight. They just play that much better throughout the entire game. And we've seen it, not just in this series, but in other series, especially when they go up early in, in series, especially with games. You got to be really careful if you're the opposing team, especially for Edmonton in this one. You have to be careful not to let Florida build that snowball up too big or else it's going to come down the mountain and cause an avalanche. You'll be very careful for Edmonton come out of the gates flying for game two. It's going to be a really crucial game. Must win, in my opinion, for Edmonton. Look for them to come out hot, especially early on this one. Take a look at the scoreline. So in period one, throw 359 into the game. Remember, this was pretty early into this one. Verhage scored, assisted by Barkov and Reinhardt. You know, those are the guys you kind of expect to come to play, especially in a Stanley Cup final game one. Those are the guys you look for. Second goal, Evan Rodriguez by Bennett and Montour. And the third one, the empty netter was Lou Osterreinen, assisted by Barkov into the empty net. Of course, this one was with five seconds left to go in the game, so not too much to talk about in that one. But the truth is, when we look at sort of what Florida does, they play physical and Edmonton matched that physicality tonight, which I was really impressed with, I might add. But at the end of the day, if you're the Florida Panthers, you want to play physical in this series. If you're the Edmonton Oilers, you, got, you want to try and avoid it as best you can. That is probably one of the keys to success for Edmonton moving forward in the series is play your game. Don't get trapped like other teams have in Florida's the way they play the game. You got to be careful with it because if you can play to, if you play to Florida's strengths, that's exactly where they want you trying to go out physical a team. That's a physical team in and of itself. 
definitely one to pay attention to there. So flip it over now to the upcoming schedule. Of course, June 10th is the next game for game two. June 13th will be game three. But remember, June 10th, this is the important one. June 10th, 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And this is a game that I do expect Edmonton to come out hot. If we're playing betting odds, give me the Edmonton Oilers in this one. I think you're going to see McDavid finally break through. Finally beat Bobrovsky. I'd love for him to be that first goal scorer. Of course, we'll play this clip back for a game two recap if this happens. But nonetheless, it's going to be a good one there as we take a final look at the playoff bracket as of right now. So remember, this is sort of how we got to this point. But a one to nothing series victory for the Florida Panthers over the Edmonton Oilers as we head into game two. If you made it this far in the video, thank you for watching. If you like to drop a like, if you really like, if you're subscribing, tell all your friends and comment down below your thoughts on game one of the NHL Stanley Cup Final. Until next time, see ya.